All right, so let's talk about what happens when we need to do a remove from a linked list. And there's actually two cases here, um, and let's look at both of them. So the first case is what if I'm doing a remove from the middle of a list? So um, here's what I'm gonna have here. I'm gonna have my start reference. This is held by the linked list class. And then I've got this chain of nodes that I've chained together through these next references. And let's say I've got four of them here. Um, and let's say I'm trying to remove this guy. Um, so the removing at the beginning is a little bit of a special case. We'll talk about that in just a second, but let's say I want to remove something from the middle and that turns out to be general. So in this case, well, you know what? Let's remove this guy. Um, so this is the item with index two. The values of the items aren't important here. Um, so this is, you know, zero, one, two in my, and these are the next references that are linking the items together. This is three. Um, and so I want to remove this one. And so the, the trick to doing this is essentially to, um, uh, I need to get to the item before it. That's the one that I want to modify. So in order to get this to work, what I want to do is to remove it item two, I want to walk the list till I get to item one. So I go to the item pre just preceding the item I want to remove. And then in order to remove the item, it's actually quite simple. Uh, I'm going to take the next reference from this, uh, this node and I'm going to change it to refer to this node. So I'm essentially going to take this one and I'm going to change its next reference. So after it's going to look like this. So here are my three uh, nodes at the end of the list. And I'm just going to change the next reference from the item with index one to refer to index three. Now, one thing that's going to happen is I want to remove, uh, sorry, I want to return item two. So once I do this, I've essentially removed item two from the list. If I walk the list now from the beginning, it goes zero to one, one, two, two. So this is now index two. Um, I want to return this before I remove it. I have to grab a reference to this one so that I can return it. So that's something we'll have to do in our code. So before I uh, lose, because I go to the item before, and so the reference I have to the one I want to remove is next. And so before I change next, I've got to copy that reference so I can return it. Uh, but this is the process of doing a removal from, from the middle. Removing from the start is a little, is pretty similar, except that I actually have to change that start reference. So this reference is sort of special. If the item I'm removing is item zero, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change start. So now let's imagine I'm removing item zero. I'm going to change start to refer to the item that was at position one. So I go to, I, I take zero and I say uh, this dot next uh, gives me the reference to the next item in the list. I change start to refer to that item. I also have to make sure that starts not null. So if I try starts null, then I'm going to be following a null reference and bad things are going to happen. So these are the two cases. So to remove something from the middle of the list, I walk the list to the preceding item. I modify its next reference to refer now to what the next reference was of the item that I'm removing. So I say kind of this item dot next is equal to um, it dot next dot next. It's pretty cool. Um, we'll see that in the code in a sec. Uh, if I'm removing from the beginning, I modify the start to refer to the next item in the list after checking to make sure the list isn't empty. Um, so you also might wonder, you know, what happens if um, there's only one item in the list? So if I had a list, let me flip this over. It's a new piece of paper. So if I had a list here, right, um, where, man, I've already, I've already flubbed this. So uh, if I have a list here that only has one item, its next reference is null, right? And so if this was the start and I was removing it, what would happen is I would set start is equal to this next reference and start would be null. And that's correct because I'm removing the only item from the list and when I'm done, start should be null and the list is now empty.